Hey Wally, this is just a quick video to illustrate the concern that you had with historic capacity, specifically dealing with the North Fork of the John Day. Uh, you, we are seeing this uh, large uh, percentage going towards the uh, pervasive category. And I double check the values to the output, it matches all the outputs. So my next question, was or your question was is that is are the outputs right are they actually computing this correctly and from my analysis yes it is computing this correctly largely because of the vegetation um, that that we're seeing here so I'm going to pull up this is existing dam capacity and you can see that there's a lot more of this uh, frequent category going on in here and then the historic, which has a ton of blues. And the blues are um, pulling up because, let me make sure that I, I have the old output up here too. So, okay. So the blues for the historic correspond to this, and I'll pull up uh, the two vegetation. So here's the historic vegetation. And here's the existing vegetation. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just uh, turn this one off because you can see both of them. So you can see that they're along the corridors or along these uh, street where the network lies are these little uh, bands of the riparian um, with the historic with the existing that we're looking at right now, which produced this output with a lot more um, green, green in there, frequent category, you can see that there's gaps in this riparian area uh, classification. If you look at the vegetation that is uh, rated as a four, um, we're seeing that uh, we've got this cottonwood willow. That's something that we've talked about it's just fine. Okay, now let's switch to the historic. And you can see that these bands of the riparian just continue for this network all the way through. And if we click on those, it's this black cottonwood narrow, narrow leaf willow three that we've had a lot of issues with. Um, and being in certain areas and good in certain areas and not so good in certain areas, this is probably one of those that land fire just <clears throat> bites it, you know, it's just, it, it just effed it up. So if we're looking, let's look specifically, you can see that all these riparian category for the black cottonwood willow comes up and it's just riddled through this network. Um, and that's why we're getting such the, the high, um, category. I'm going to just pop up into here. We're going to sort this descending. I just thought to, to do this. We've got our four categories and you can see um, we've got this category which is a four. It's the Aspen. We've got this category which doesn't make up very much of the network. It looks like it makes it up down here, but we've got such high discharges that it rolls those areas out. And then you've got uh, this black cottonwood willow, and it looks like you've got it in the whole network. So we've got the two classifications going through there and it's just full of this black black cottonwood wall or narrow leaf willow um that's that's throwing the model into this high uh capacity for the historic um and you can see that here so anyway let me know what your thoughts are the data is correct for the values given this um this too, we can see, and let me just see something real quick. 
All right, Wally, I wanted to quick check and see if uh, these areas that are going on in here uh, with the very high quantities of the riparian area for historic, so we're still looking at historic here, uh, how that corresponded to the existing. And it's different for the existing in that a lot of the riparian area that is lumped into these two categories, um, it is subsetted in the existing one. And one of those subsets is the herbaceous grassland that we were having issues with in the North Fork burnt and we have discussed that it's appropriate to knock it down a few levels from four. Um, so, but it's all mixed together and it just happens to be that this area has a lot of that in it. So we've got these historic categories that are two and they're lumped in and a lot of the, it's not just like the herbaceous, a lot of this is herbaceous, but some of it isn't. Some of it is actually good uh, level four riparian uh, vegetation for existing as well. So it's it's one of those tough situations where the land fire just sucks in this area. So hopefully that answers your question and gives you some confidence in that. It's just one of those extreme cases that I think it's, uh, the historic is just lumped <laughs> so much that it throws off, you know, the output, uh, but it's hard to get rid of it again, because if you get rid of or knock down one of these, it's kind of, you're, you're under portraying the uh, capacity of it in some areas. So anyway, hopefully that answers a few of your questions, gives you some soundness. Uh, if you want me to do anything about it, I can. Um, I think at this point it kind of is what it is. You know, doing a rerun and making all the new maps and everything would be um, difficult because it's not just in this area, it's also in the others and that would be a test that you'd have to see how the breakdown of these two, um, this category is. And I would suggest that we just move on with it and say, you know, historic has, uh, you know, if you feel a need to say it, the, the historic has this lumped feature. Uh, so anyway, hopefully that covers it. Sorry for the long video.